Well, this is a, a call to all millenniums. Now, there's a perfect storm right now that's going to really severely impact millenniums. The perfect storm, of course, includes the Affordable Health Care Act. Uh, the success of the Affordable Health Care Act assumes that all millenniums, people born between 1981 and 2000, the grandbabies of baby boomers, are going to sign up and pay for the health care of people who are retired, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90-year-old people. Well, I think millennials are smarter than that. I want to offer you longevity versus the doctor. Longevity versus the doctor. Okay? And the millennials will understand this. So right now, the perfect storm includes technology. Think about it. Uh, very few people sit down, write a two- to three-page handwritten letter, and send it first class. Everything is done by email. Okay? More and more people are buying online to save on fuel, driving back and forth, parking fees, and, and risk of uh, being mugged for your food and all that kind of stuff uh, versus going into a retail store. And so buying online is a big thing right now. Everything from books to food to, to um, clothing, whatever. They even have um, three way or 3D ways to find out if clothes fit you before you even buy them. And then you look at all the businesses that have been put out of business, uh, pay phones. You can't hardly find a pay phone anymore because of the uh, cell phone. And then there's Netflix, a movie company that took over um, things like, um, oh, uh, even going to the movies, all right? And, of course, the microwave, you can make your own popcorn. You don't, you don't need to go buy popcorn. You, you make it. And, of course, uh, you're looking at um, insurance doesn't pay to keep you healthy. Insurance payments do not keep you healthy. Most people don't even think about that. Why do they pay for insurance? Well, I, I, I might need it for my health. No. What you need to do is take the 90 essential nutrients, appropriate for your body weight, divide the do- calculated dose in half, take half in the morning, half at night, and insurance only pays the doctor when you screw up. Insurance only pays the doctor when you screw up. So the answer is, oh, there's one other piece here. Uh, technology, uh, computers and robots, are taking over manufacturing and assembly. Okay, manufacturing and assembly, I'm reading through my notes here, actually um, are being done by robots and computers now. One robot can do the work of 10 people. doesn't require a six-month paid pregnancy leave. Never gets a back problem. Disabilities have sort of disappeared uh, when you're using robots and computers. I mean, you can change a printed um, circuit board in a computer in 10 seconds. You don't need to go to a doctor and uh, get on disability for six months and all the treatments and everything like that. Uh, you don't need health care benefits for robots and, and um, uh, computers. And so this is really this, the perfect storm has resulted in low-paying jobs. There's more of them, but they're low-paying. I mean, you're looking at uh, $7 an hour plus a hamburger to work at these fast food places. These jobs slush back and forth depending on demand, season, holidays, and all that kind of stuff. Uh, transportation, it's actually quicker uh, to, to drive a couple of hours by a car than it is to fly by airplane. Uh, flying by airplane is a real pain in the neck, believe me. I know I fly a lot. And so I urge you baby boomers... And also the, their kids and their um, grandkids, which are the millenniums, born between 1991 and, and 2000, to get a $10 one-time fee longevity business. That way you'll be able to buy hosts. You'll get an auto ship. You don't have to pay shipping. Uh, $1,000 to $5,000 deductible. Uh, for a family of five, you'll be able to get um, insurance, catastrophic insurance, for, oh, $90 to 150 bucks a month, depending on the insurance company, when you get a $1,000 to $5,000 deductible. Then you get... Start out, um, for people who don't have problems, like the millennials, uh, the 90 essential nutrients might cost you anywhere from 75 to 125 bucks a month, depending on your body weight and, and how far you want to go. And you do this as a business, you have another income stream, you get car bonuses, stock options, uh, you sign up enough people and get them going, you, you get paid a check and there's income streams, yours will be free because we'll send you a check every month, so yours can be free. And... Um, uh, you'll build a business so that you have student loans. This is a big thing that kills. I mean, why why would anybody uh, be able to get a, a home loan when you have a hundred thousand dollar, a quarter million dollar student loans? They never go away. You can declare declare bankruptcy ten times. You still have to pay off your student loans when the interest keeps cranking up every hour. And here's a case where Youngevity can help you pay off student loans. Okay, there's nobody else going to help you pay off student loans. Youngevity will help you do that. 
Uh, what if you have an extra $500 a month to help pay down your student loans? What if you have an extra $1,000 a month? What about $2,000? What about $5,000 a month? It won't take long to pay off those student loans. And so I urge you to contact your young GBD associate, get into the system, and, um, you know, take care of yourself. We will pay you to take care of yourself. That's how good this is. Get that trilogy of books, Let's Play Doctor, Let's Play Herbal Doctor, and the Passport Aromatherapy, and learn how to deal with, prevent, and reverse as many as 900 different diseases using vitamins, minerals, and trace minerals, and rare earths, amino acids, fatty acids, herbs, and aromatherapy oils. Okay, Let's Play Doctor, Let's Play Herbal Doctor, and the Passport Aromatherapy. And this includes just about all birth defects. We're talking about Down syndrome. We're talking about cerebral palsy. Uh, we're talking about cleft palate, cleft lip, uh, missing and extra limbs and fingers and toes, heart defects of all kinds. We're talking about some serious life-threatening birth defects, infertility. Why spend all that money in the medical system? You can do this yourself for pennies. Pennies. Contact your Yongevity associate today and get in Yongevity instead of going to the doctor. Okay, Doug, what pearls of wisdom do you have for us? I thought we'd talk a bit about food today as I have a story here about prostate cancer and treating it with uh, diet rather than chemotherapy and uh, surgeries. And, you know, when I read this article, it brought to mind, you know, how for years I've been hearing you say, you know, you tell people to get on a nutritional supplement program, but you also tell them to get rid of the bad foods out of their uh, diets and life and, uh, and you know, eat only the good foods. And this kind of goes along those lines in this uh, Fox News story that's headlined, The Meal Study, Fighting Prostate Cancer with Fruits and Vegetables. And it made me think of uh, Jay Cornish and his Juice Cures. And exactly, the Juice Cures uh, uh, DVD set, CD yeah. set, yeah. And uh, this uh, start, starts out about a specific individual, a gentleman by the name of Charles Trevino. Uh, he's 65. He was diagnosed with early stage prostate cancer last year during a routine physical. And they go on to say that it is the most common cancer among men, and treatments for it are surgery or radiation, which often lead to some really bad side effects. And uh, this is a quote from Charles. He says, they said, look, Charles, you'll probably have erectile dysfunction. You'll probably have to wear diapers for a while because you're going to have urinary problems. He said, everything was left up to me, and I didn't decide easily. I think it was just too important for me to have quality of life. And he started seeking an alternative treatment, and he was referred to a Dr. Hyung Lee Kim, a co-medical director of Urologic Oncology at the program at Cedar Sinai Samuel Oshkin, a comprehensive cancer institute in LA, he said along with the surgery and radiation, Kim presented Trevino with the opportunity to join one of several clinical trials for men with prostate cancer, including something called the Meal Study. And this has about 200 patients in it enroll, enrolled nationwide since 2011. And they say it has one simple goal getting men in early stages of prostate cancer to increase their fruit and vegetable intake. Participants receive nutritional counseling and while undertaking an active surveillance role as far as monitoring the disease and hope that eating healthy will help slow the cancer's progression. And Dr. Kim said it's unproven. We think there's a connection, but I'm going to be honest with you. We don't know for sure. We haven't fully vindicated it. And he says, try it. You have nothing to lose. In fact, you'll probably lose some weight and feel better, so why not? They say as little as five years ago, 90% of prostate cancer patients underwent a prostatectomy or radiation, which, of course, left them with the incontinence and the ED. The patients uh, who are now who are in low or extremely low-risk stage of the disease are increasingly opting for active surveillance monitoring uh, on a regular basis through PSA tests, rectal exams, and biopsies or MRIs. Doctors are also beginning to study whether lifestyle modifications such as diet or exercise can slow the progression of the disease. The idea behind the meal study is to increase the number of servings of fruits and vegetables, and you can decrease the risk of cancer progression. It's technically not a low-fat, low-carb diet, and they say so far Trevino experienced uh, success on the meal plan. It says over the past year he's lost about 20 pounds, decreased his waist size from 40 to 38, and even more importantly, his prostate cancer has remained under control. And as Trevino says, uh, not only was his quality of life markedly improved under the meal study, not only did he lose weight, but he says he now has a better attitude and more energy. So once again, I personally believe that that vindicates you because you've been advocating changing diet and lifestyle for, oh, what, 40, 50, 60 years? Yeah, 50 years, yeah. And so, yeah, and this, of course, um, uh, Jay Cordish and I were good friends, and 
uh, he had uh, terminal bladder cancer, and he started juicing, um, uh, gosh, uh, 65 years ago, and he was able to uh, defeat his terminal cancer 65 years ago by juicing. And that's why he and I got in the studio and we made the CD set called Juice Cures. Contact your young Juvity associate and ask for Juice Cures. We'll be back after these messages. Let's head to uh, Pennsylvania. And uh, Karen, you're on with Dr. Wallach. Oh, Karen, you're on the air. Hello, Dr. Wallach. Hi. Uh, thank you for taking my call. Yes, um, ma'am. I had surgery to remove ovarian cancer last December, and uh, so far uh, it has not come back, so I'm Good. grateful for that. But I was also diagnosed with diabetes, high blood pressure, high cholesterol, and sleep apnea. And what I wanted to know is which of your products would help me change those conditions? How much do you weigh? About 280, 285 pounds. 280? Okay. And how tall are you, ma'am? 5'2". Okay. Well, we have some work to do here, okay? Um, basically, um, diabetes and high blood pressure um, and weight gain are all caused by nutritional deficiency diseases. It's just the opposite of what people think. The average person, including doctors and the government, think that being overweight or obese is a factor of eating too much and lack of exercise, but that's not true. It's actually a nutritional deficiency. Um, high blood pressure and diabetes are particularly related, especially if there's any... Do you have any sort of kidney issues at all? No, I don't. Okay, good. Okay, Ashar, uh, you're there. I'm here. Okay, how would you start uh, helping uh, Karen uh, with her high blood pressure and diabetes and building up her immune system to help her continue to fend off uh, cancer? She's a healthy blood sugar pack, but okay. ideally she's going to need three of them. Okay. And, uh, yeah, and a very good. Uh, she'll need three of uh, the healthy blood sugar packs to deal with the diabetes. And uh, if, if, you know, that's out of your financial reach, then two. I wouldn't go any less than two. And um, so what you're going to do is have three of the sweeties three times a day or at least twice a day. And then what I want you to do is check your fasting blood sugar every morning before you medicate yourself because your blood sugar will drop very rapidly. Um, and also, for the high blood pressure, what would you throw in there, Char? Ultimate daily. Okay, very good. Nine of those a day. Uh, three at breakfast, three at lunch, three at dinner. That'll be two bottles a month of the Ultimate Daily, and they're designed to support and promote healthy blood flow through obstructed arteries, which will help kidney function, coronary artery, memory, uh, eye, uh, prevent or reduce uh, glaucoma if it exists. Uh, also, support and promote healthy blood pressure levels. That's the Ultimate Daily tablets. Then, uh, for the um, cancer, what supplements would you throw into the into the system there, Char? Selenium. Okay, good. Uh, nine selenium a day. That would be certainly a priority, nine selenium a day, three at breakfast, lunch, and dinner to help support your immune system. Um, and then uh, for the diet part, I would stay away from all the free radical generating stuff, all the inflammatory stuff, which contributes to cancer. No fried foods, no processed meats with nitrates and nitrites, no oils and no gluten, no wheat, barley, rye, and oats. And then um, if you want to, you can throw in ASAP, and uh, one or two bottles of that a month, and that will help you lose a half a pound to two pounds a day. Call us every two weeks if you would, Karen. Blood pressure, blood sugar, and weight. We'll be back after these messages. Let's head to Santa Cruz, California. Ed, Robert, you're on with Dr. Wallach. Oh, Robert, you're on the air. Hey, Dr. Wallach. Uh, I'm part of the Santa Cruz uh, Longevity Crew. All right. Under, um, How can under we help Justin you? Baker. Yeah, under Justin Baker. Uh, one, of our, one of our clients, his girlfriend, 180 something pound uh, 50 year old woman has these bumps on her belly for a year and a half and she's very healthy and uh, you know athletic and toned body and everything is just you know good choices with her food and everything and she just has these bumps it won't seem to go away okay now tell me about these bumps are they the size of a head of a pin they the size of golf balls or grapefruit how big are these bumps I you know I should have asked them that I think they're they're smaller bumps you know uh Okay, like maybe acne on her belly kind of thing? Uh, maybe a little bit bigger, yeah, like a, I don't know, some food reaction, I'm sure, but I don't, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I was going to get your opinion and maybe yeah. get a three -way, do a okay. three-way with you later. Sure. Okay, well, um, do you know anything else about her? Do you know if she has any chronic respiratory problems or how tall she is? Uh, she's pretty tall, 5'11 or almost 6 feet or something. Okay, all right. Do you know if she had any chronic respiratory problems? No. Okay, that's another one thing you want to check. Okay, 
let's assume for a minute that uh, her main problem, of course, is is uh, these uh, bumps in her belly. Uh, Char, let's go there. What would you think this could be? It's got to be some kind of a reaction, an allergy-type reaction. Okay, and it could be a gluten intolerance. It could be. Uh, it, it's possible that there's something else, like uh, cough yeah, medicine. Th- yeah, this could... was cough medicine she was taking, I, you know, that did it to her. Okay. Made her, and... made her look like sunburn. I mean, it, uh, I took her to a dermatologist just before I met you, of course. Mm-hmm. And I took her to a dermatologist, and he wanted to know if I had a sun lamp, and I said, that's not a sunburn. But it, yet, it burned like sunburn, and it peeled like a sunburn, but it was not sunburn. Mm-hmm. Okay. Well, yeah, we want to know a little bit more about it, but the uh, first thing I would do is get her on a gluten-free diet. Absolutely no wheat, barley, rye, and oats, because uh, gluten intolerance shows up a lot of different ways in the skin. We used to call empatigo, look like little boils all over the skin, under the arms, under the neck, and around the belly, waistline, under the breast, and that sort of stuff. Um, it's called empatigo is the old time name for it. It looks like acne on the trunk of the body and under the arms and neck, uh, behind your ears, that sort of stuff. And uh, then there's um, ker- uh, keratosis, where it's like fish flesh, they call it, or chicken skin. It's rough uh, like sandpaper, dry and rough. Uh, so you want to know if these things are dry and hard or they squishy and got stuff in them, you know, like oils or pus. That would be important. Uh, but um, at 180 pounds, I'd go ahead and I'd get her uh, off of all gluten, no wheat, barley, rye, and oats. I'd get her off of all fried foods, no processed meats or nitrates and nitrites, no oils. I'd absolutely get her on two uh, healthy start packs, uh, one per 100 pounds of body weight per month. I'd throw in the killer biotic, um, three of those twice a day, that's two bottles a month, and I'd get our colloidal silver and our Pure Works spray. And between the co- colloidal silver and the Pure Works disinfect those bumps and see if that helps. Give me a call. Let me know more information, Robert, and we'll be back after these messages. Let's head to Texas. And Susie, you're on with Dr. Wallach. Hello, Susie. You're on the air. Yes, sir. Hi. How can we help you? Uh, My husband has had five strokes, and he has a situation with his um, Coumadin, and he is progressively getting weaker tired, and he had pain in his legs when he stood or walked. All right. How much does he weigh? I'm sorry? How much does he weigh? Uh, 238. And how tall is he? About six foot. Okay. He has a healthy heart. I'm sorry, say again? He has a very healthy heart. He's 77, and he has the heart of a 45-year-old. Okay. Now... Does he have any other issues I need to know about other than these five strokes? Were these strokes blood clot strokes or bleeding strokes? Uh, blood clots. He oh. had a surgery, did not exercise enough. They told us it's what caused the blood clots. Mm-hmm. Absolutely, positively not true. Okay. Uh, what causes blood clots is a deficiency of or a ratio problem between omega-3, 6s, and 9s. In fact, I sued the FDA over that and won in federal court to be able to say that. You can actually reduce your risk of thrombotic stroke, blood clot stroke. Uh, you can reduce your risk of coronary thrombosis, pulmonary embolism, and deep vein thrombosis by supplementing properly with omega-3s, 6s, and 9s. I actually want in federal court to be able to say that legally. Now, um, so th- we have to change your husband's diet. We have to supplement him properly. And um, I want him to go in to check his blood clotting level every kind of, um, oh, every couple of weeks to a month, no later than every month, okay? If he starts getting um, hemorrhages underneath his skin, looks like he's bruising, you want to go in more frequently. But at any rate, uh, five strokes, and all they did was put him on Coumadin. I'm, I'm very ashamed of the medical profession here because Coumadin um, doesn't really stop, as you've learned, doesn't really st- stop blood clots when you're deficient in the omega-3s or have a ratio problem between omega-3s, 6s, and 9s. So 238 pounds, I'd have him take um, two of the healthy um, heart and brain packs per month. Two healthy heart and brain packs per month. That will allow him to have um, one ounce of the Osteo FX Plus at breakfast and dinner, three of our Ultimate Selenium at breakfast and dinner. It'll be two scoops of the Beyond Tangerine Nutri Crystals at breakfast and dinner, three of the EFAs at breakfast and dinner, three of the EFA Pluses at breakfast and dinner. Then would also have him take the Ultimate Daily Tablets. I'd have him take three of those twice a day. That'll be one bottle a month. And, Char, what would you do for his diet? What would you change in this fellow's diet? I'd get him on a gluten-free diet anyway just because 
there's no nutritional value in gluten. Mm-hmm. Except it adds calories and fat to you. So I okay. Get him on a gluten-free diet, and he needs to avoid all the, you know, no burnt animal fat, no meat with nitrates and nitrites, no margarine, no salad oils. No fried foods. No fried foods. Yeah, none of the inflammatory stuff, exactly. Very, very good. And so, um, yeah, you're going to have to change his diet. And, again, I want you to go in every couple of weeks to a couple of months, or excuse me, every month at the latest, uh, more, you know, if, if he judges he's getting more hemorrhages under his skin or something from his cumin, he needs to go in, get his PT time, his prothrombin, prothrombin time checked, and if it's lengthening, the doctor's going to say, hey, he's got to stop eating green leafy things, and I want you to say, stand up, throw your shoulders back and say, no, what I want you to do is cut back on the medication a little bit. Okay, and they'll have to cut back on the medication and over time, the goal here is to wean him off the medication while making him safer at the same time. Okay? And we can do this, but you're going to have to be very proactive in getting rid of all the bad stuff out of his diet. Okay, Doug, let's go to callers. Let's head to Utah. And Isaac, you're on with Dr. Wallach. Well, Isaac, you're on the air. Yes, uh, doctor, I called you last week, got all the information you gave me, but I couldn't write down what you said about my lungs. I, I have a scar tissue on my lungs. I'm on 24-hour oxygen, 8 liters, uh, you know, all 24 hours. Uh, and so I didn't get what you said about what I need to take for my lungs. Okay, my sure. Lungs How much do you weigh again? 135 to 140. Okay, and remind me, did you have any other issues other than your lungs? Did you have diabetes or high blood pressure, arthritis or anything? No. Okay, so your lungs are your primary concern here. Yeah. Yes, so, so, yeah, what I would do is take, again, one healthy heart and brain pack per month because your lungs are attached to your heart and, and so forth. So I would like one healthy heart and brain pack per month. I would um, get um, two bottles of the Oxy Body, two bottles of Oxy Body, so you can take an ounce twice a day of the Oxy Body, an hour, hour before an hour after meals. You're going to maximize your supplementation of oxygen that way through a liquid supplement. Then I would also get the ultimate daily tablets. We want better blood flow going through these lungs if they're scarred up. So I would go with the ultimate daily tablets. I'd have you take three of those twice a day. That's one bottle a month. And then give us a call every once in a while. Let us know how your energy is doing, how well you're sleeping. Um, if you can go up and, you know, if you have some measurement, you can measure. You can just go up three steps without getting breathless or five steps without going getting breathless. And uh, after, say, two weeks or a month or two months, you're able to go up double the number of steps without getting breathless. That's an improvement. So give us a call on a regular basis and just say hi and let us know how you're doing. And we'll kind of walk you through this stuff. Again, one healthy heart and brain pack per month. Uh, three of the ultimate daily tablets a day. That's um, three at breakfast, three at dinner. Uh, that would be uh, one bottle a month. And also the two bottles of OxyBody, um, one ounce in the morning, an hour before, an hour after breakfast, one ounce, an hour before or after dinner. Those two quarts a month. Stay away from all the inflammatory stuff, fried foods, processed meats, oils, gluten. Okay, Doug, let's go to callers. Hello, Doug. Uh, yeah, Susie has an additional question. She's back online with us. Okay. Here. Susie in Texas. Susie in Texas, okay. Yes, ma'am, go ahead. Well, that didn't work out. Uh, going once, going twice. <laughs> Yeah, we're coming up on a break here. You know, Doc, I want to bring something up that uh, I discovered recently. You know, we often talk to people about going on a gluten-free diet, and as the audience is well aware, I've been on a gluten-free diet for a number of years. And I was finding in the last year, maybe year and a half, that I just wasn't seeing the kind of results that I thought I should see. And so I started doing a little research, uh, talked to a few people like yourself and some of our other health experts that uh, we use here on the show, and what I discovered was a study that came out of uh, the uh, Department of Nutrition and Research Center for Food and Development out of Mexico, actually. And what they found is that people that have celiac disease or the gluten intolerance, there's a small subset of people that have problems with some of this genetically modified maize and corn, and they're getting some of the same results that you would get if you were having gluten in your diet. And, and then I started looking looking around at a lot of the products that I had that I've been, you know, buying some gluten-free pastas and gluten-free breads and, you know, gluten-free um, mm -hmm. pizza dough and things like that. Well, virtually all of it had corn or maize in it. So I've started to cut all that stuff out of my diet, and guess what? 
The symptoms are starting to relieve themselves, and it's kind of gone back to a little closer like it was when I first went gluten-free. I didn't. There weren't all those products available then, and uh, and so I'll, at that time, all I was eating was basically meat and vegetables. I've gone back to that diet, and I'm starting to feel great again. So for those of you that are gluten-free, if you're still having some issues, you might want to consider cutting the corn out of your diet for a while because it's in virtually everything that's these gluten-free products. Exactly. Rice, vegetables, baked sweet potatoes with butter and cinnamon, meat, eggs. You can't beat that for gluten-free. Stay away from anything, especially the, the GMO corn and stuff. Get Go Foods. It's safe. Go Foods from Longevity. We'll be back after these messages. We're back with Dead Doctors Don't Lie on the ZBS Radio Network. Dr. Joel Wallach here for Longevity, 90 for Life Crusade. And, Doug, let's go to callers. Let's head to Oregon. And, Pat, you're on with Dr. Wallach. Oh, Pat, you're on the air. Oh, hi, Dr. Wallach. Hi. My son, ha- hi, my son has schizophrenia, and I'm not sure what medicine is that he's on, and can I give him mineral toddy? Okay. How, how old is your son? He's uh, 40. Okay. And how much does he weigh? Uh, probably about 165, maybe. 165? Maybe. I'm not sure. Yeah, okay, so not quite 200 pounds. All right. Well, schizophrenia, of course, is if you talk to a psychologist or a psychiatrist, they're going to say it's a chemical imbalance. And um, uh, it's sort of a, um, a variation on um, uh, things like uh, bipolar um, depression, manic depression kind of thing. It's a variation on that. They're all kind of related. And so the first place I would start is get rid of all the bad foods out of his life, which would include uh, things like gluten, no wheat, barley, rye, and oats, absolutely. No fried foods, no processed meats, no oils, no sugar. Get all that out of his diet. Look, get him on vegetables and eggs. If he's allergic to chicken eggs, there's all kinds of duck eggs and turkey eggs and guinea eggs you can get out of oriental food stores. But I'd get him on vegetables and eggs. Baked sweet potatoes with butter and cinnamon tends to be neutral. And then at 165 pounds, um, I'd go ahead and get him on the 90 essential nutrients. If he's not bad with taking pills and capsules, we have the um, um, Healthy Start Pack. It's the Go Pack. It's in capsules. There's 30 envelopes in a box. I'd get him two boxes a month. Let him have one of those little envelopes of all the capsules at breakfast and one of those little envelopes um, with the capsules at dinner time. So he'd go through two boxes a month. If he prefers the liquids, you'd have the, um, I'd, I'd get him the uh, 2.0, which is the second version. It tastes like peaches. Everybody seems to like it, of the um, Healthy Start Pack. And he could get two of those, one full dose of everything at breakfast, one full dose of everything at dinner time. And it wouldn't hurt to also get him for maximum um, metabolism in the brain. I'd have him get what we call de-stress capsules, capital D, like David Dash Stress, and have him take three of those twice a day. It'd be two bottles a month. Do not take him off his medication. Um, but after about um, a month on this program, I'd have him go to his uh, doctor who's prescribed the medication for him and let the doctor know he is changing his diet and he's, he's taking some supplements. And would the, do- would the doctor examine him and would he consider um, reducing some of his medications? And so I'd have the reduction of medications of anybody with serious emotional problems like schizophrenia, bipolar, um, uh, these types of things, um, have, have the reduction of medication done at the instruction of the person who actually wrote the prescription. Give me a call every couple of weeks, Pat, if you would, and tell us how your son is doing. Okay, how much time we have here, Doug? Uh, we got just a little over 60 seconds here. Okay, well, I'm going to go ahead and take it. And again, remind the millennials, of people who are grandkids of the baby boomers, jump in with longevity. Don't, don't be the ones that are going to pay for the older people for health care. Get a $1,000 to $5,000 deductible, catastrophic health care. It will be a minimal payment per month. Uh, buy your own essential nutrients, your 90 for Life program for yourself by body weight. Protect yourself, protect those you love, and get, join us in business, and we'll help you with an income stream whether you love your job or not. And um, why not? Take care of yourself, take care of the people you love, and we'll save America together. Thank you so much, uh, Shar. really a super job today. Thank you so much, uh, Doug and Richard, superlative job as usual. And don't forget, we are looking for people to help us out. Uh, we pay extremely well. 
We are publicly traded, so we do give stock options as you go up in rank. We do give car bonuses as you go up in rank. Uh, we train you for nothing. Any tools, uh, DVDs, CDs, books that you buy of your own education, guess what? They become tax deductible when you do the longevity business legitimately as a business. Americans are entrepreneurs. Uh, and it's a way to make sure that you can take care of yourself health-wise. Who's going to pay for you if you're paying for all these other folks? Ooh, that doesn't sound too good to me. Well, thank you again, Shar. Thank you, Doug and Richard. Superlative job as usual. God bless each and every one of you. God bless our troops. God bless our Navy SEALs. And God bless America.